Coach Watson, thanks for joining us on Team FYN Sports. Got a couple of questions for you leading into the season. Uh, first of all, how are you feeling about now it's you've, you've turned the corner, we're out of the curtain of workouts to getting into practice? Yeah, Brandon, thanks for having me too. Um, yeah, it's, it's exciting to get the season started and being done with the uh, you know the workouts and the seven on sevens. And mm -hmm. you know, I told the team the other day it's. Uh, it's actually football season now, so uh, the seven on sevens and the things that you do to prepare for the season, uh, that's over and it's time to go. Getting into those hot August weeks, let's talk about uh, some folks because preparation from workouts to getting into actual practice, mm -hmm. a lot of the other states around us, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, on, on, on around, they get out there a little bit earlier, they get into the pads. What are your thoughts with North Carolina being the way it is that, hey, now you're able to get acclimated and get into the pads, and it puts you on a little bit later schedule. It does kind of give you a couple of weeks um, where you're behind the other schools. But, um, you know, we've been doing this for, for a long time, you know, August 1st being, you know, the start date, uh, and surrounding surrounding states can, you know, have a padded camp for a couple of weeks and then um, start a week earlier. But, you know, it's still – when when you get in North Carolina, you're competing with the teams in North Carolina. Um, you're kind of on the se same playing playing field with that. But um, <clears throat> we do the best we can to get prepared on the uh, well, I guess the 10 days we have until we can scrimmage, uh, and then leading us up to the next week of uh, the the game week. And so you know, with North Carolina's rules, we just we do what we can and and, and try to abide by those rules as well as we can. Now, you've been a head coach for a year. Mm -hmm. This is not your first rodeo, obviously, as coaching, but having that first year as a head coach under your belt, six teams are in the conference. Right. Do you like that, having that extra non-conference game to get you ready, or would you rather see another team come into the conference and complement the Smoky Mountain Conference? Yeah, um, you know, we've had seven teams for a long time until Rosman um, got realigned. I do like that other conference game, but um, it is what it is. So, and it, obviously, it's hard to find games, and we're still working on that. And I guess we'll talk about that later. But um, it's hard to find those non-conference games, and and for us, especially uh, the travel for us in in North Carolina. So basically, all the teams that are close to us, we play anyways as part of our non-conference or our conference schedule. But um, you know, I, I don't mind the non-conference game um, as long as we can find somebody to play. It's fine with me. Um, but obviously having a seven member conference works as well. So either way, Brandon, I, I really, it doesn't matter to me. Who are you looking forward to playing uh, in conference and out of conference? Well, I mean, we're looking forward to playing everybody in our conference, right. honestly. I, I don't want to single out one single team, but they're all big. When you're talking about our conference now, uh, compared to previous years, um, you know, it's very balanced. Uh, anybody can beat anybody on any Friday. Um, so you, you better be ready every Friday to play anybody in our conference. So I guess you could say Cherokee because that's our first one. So we better be ready for Cherokee. Gotcha. Um, and, and then non-conference, Franklin is the team that we, you know, they are a very good football team. And I always say that they let you know exactly what you got. It's the very first game of the season for us. And then they're a good team that will test you. And then once you play Franklin, you know what kind of team you have after you play Franklin. So that's a big one for us too. What about jumping into the unknown, like South Pittsburgh, Commerce, Georgia, right. Fannin County, Georgia? You don't know as much about them, or you don't get to see as much. Now you'll huddle it up with them yeah. and that sort of thing. But uh, knowing that traditional year after year after right. year, and we were wanting to play South Pitt uh, last, year. last year. Yeah. So yeah, the, those teams, those new teams on our schedule are exciting for us, exciting for our kids. Um, it's always fun to play somebody different, and I think we have a. A really good track record for uh, teams that we've never played before so we kind of are a little bit unorthodox or something that not a lot of teams see offensively nowadays and uh, it gives them a little bit of trouble and hopefully um, we have an advantage over them for that but like usually when teams uh, we play every year uh, have a pretty good game plan against us and, and and we like going out of the conference and playing some different teams anything new uh, in the team this year I mean you can address that any way you want to uh, <laughs> no, Brandon, we we got a pretty good um, pretty good handle on things, and you know, Coach Gentry is has still have a big uh, imprint on what we do, and we try not to change too many things that that are successful, and so we pretty much stay with the sa same schedule, 
uh, you know, and do the same things that we do a couple of things different, obviously, but, um, you know, uh, the things that we've always done and I've been here, we've always done, we're continuing doing those things. Coaching staff, looks like everybody's coming back in Staple, but you have one new face. Yeah, for the most part, we got most people back on uh, varsity, uh, except for a couple, but uh, we do have one new face that with Coach Gutierrez leaving, we, uh, I got Joey Curry back, who's been a quarterback for us and the state championship quarterback and played for another state championship. And we're excited about Joey coming. Uh, he's gonna help our JV team and he's also gonna come up and help us some on Friday nights. And uh, Joey knows his offense, just about as good as anybody. He's yeah. uh, and he's had some really good experience in college playing quarterback at Western for a couple of years and um, bringing what he's learned at Western and you know kind of combining some of that stuff that we do um, here. It's going to help our JV teams. He's going to help our quarterbacks and the JVs tremendously and uh, continue to help us as well. Not changing the subject, but that might help baseball out a little bit too in the spring. Yeah, I don't know. We I, I need to talk to Joey a little bit right. about what he's going to do with that, but it's a possibility. You never know. Okay. Let's uh, let's talk about um, some, uh, just one other thing, and, and that is just anything you want the fans or the boosters to know about as we get ready to turn the corner. You know, because not too long we're we're going to scrimmage in Boone, and then all of a sudden we kick it off with Franklin, and we're rolling through 2022. Yeah, just that you know we're gonna we're gonna be um, Murphy Murphy Bulldogs. We're gonna play like Murphy has always been playing, Brandon, and, um, and I hope they. Uh, I hope they are ready to travel because we're going to be traveling a little bit, especially that scrimmage uh, and then to Commerce and then to uh, Fannin. So I hope they're ready to travel, see some new places uh, and see some new new teams. And um, we're going to give them the best ever that we can do. Now, I guess one one thing I will, will ask uh, is that at this point, you're looking for game number 11. Mm -hmm. And right now there's a hole around the 1st of September, the end of September. So uh, I know you're probably trying to talk to a few teams, but would you – you're going to have to have an open date, but uh, what would you like to see how that uh, fit up? And I know you'd like to get any game you can, yeah. but how would you like to see that uh, square off? Well, you know, Brandon, right now it's it's, it's way late in the game. It should should have already happened. But um, right now, we'll I would take any anybody for any of those two days. I can't, you know, be picky right now. So we'll just take whoever we can take. And, I, you know, hopefully that resolves this week, and I should have something pretty much nailed down hopefully by the end of the week. All right, Coach. Uh, once again, visiting with uh, Coach uh, Joseph Watson. And, uh, Coach, last thing we always say, go Bulldogs. Go Dogs.